Thanks for watching this week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and have you heard about this hover bike that everybody's drooling over? Also, we're following in the paths of the Star Wars universe and learning to vaporize planets, and this week some gloves have come out that translate sign language into verbal speech. The lack of hover cars and flying jetpacks and stuff is something that my dad has always been really bitter about. He used to say, Trace, why don't we have this technology we were promised? We went to the moon and we can't even make a flying car? A company called Aeroflex has come up with a portable-ish, compact-ish hover bike that uses rotors to lift a medium-sized man, or from what it looks like, about 15 feet off the ground and it can go 30 miles an hour. Is that hover enough for you, Pops? While it is still in the testing phase, you can tell from these videos that it's got full motion control and it looks badass. But hovering cars and bikes are nothing new. The only difference between this one is it's got good stability. They use the same technology that goes into a Segway to keep you on top of the bike and not, well, the other way around. Texting while hover biking? Not recommended. No, no, I'm on my hover bike. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, it's really great. Let me, oh no, let me switch to Bluetooth though. Oh God! Oh no! It might not look quite as fancy as Luke Skywalker's little hover car thing or the cool flying bikes from Endor, but you know, you gotta admit it's got, it's got some pizzazz. It's got some style. Unfortunately, it's not being licensed for individual use yet. Neither was the Hummer at first. See all the videos and more photos at discoverynews.com slash hoverbike. And since we're on the topic of Star Wars, we may as well stick with that. The best way to get the attention of an audience is to vaporize their planet, am I right? Attacking planets has shown up across pop culture in movies like Star Wars, Star Trek, Superman, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and even this classic French film where they shot a bullet at the moon. With all this talk of blowing up planets, some scientists wanted to know if it was even possible to blow up a giant ball of rock. It's a planet. It's kind of big. According to computer simulations done by some scientists in St. Louis, you sure can blow up a planet. The scientists created computer simulations of super Earths and then ran them through a variety of scenarios to see if they could blow them up. Pretty much the coolest science ever. The point wasn't to see if they could destroy the Earth, but to find out how the atmospheres of these super Earths might operate. It's kind of like when you're playing SimCity, you know, and you have this beautiful megapolis, and the next thing you know, you're throwing meteors at it because you just got to make it exciting eventually. You don't like my policies? You don't want to pay taxes? Here, I have this giant alien menace. <laughs> The scientists kept increasing the temperature of these super-Earths, and at 760 degrees Celsius, the atmosphere looked more like Venus, full of sulfur dioxide. And at 1400 degrees Celsius, the rocks started letting off silicon monoxide. Eventually, it got so hot that the rocks themselves vaporized, and they were left with a big ball of gas. All in all, not a great place to live. Do you want to know more about their research? Check out discoverynews.com slash planetblowerupper. And this last story has nothing to do with Star Wars, I promise, okay? Yeah, you heard it right. These gloves will translate gestures into spoken language. Sort of. Within the gloves are an accelerometer, a compass, flex sensors in the fingers, and a gyroscope so it knows which way is up. It's kind of like a Wii remote. They send the information on the gestures that the gloves are making through a Bluetooth connection onto a smartphone where an app decodes that signal into a word or a phrase. The system was designed as part of Microsoft's Imagine Cup contest where students come and get to show off their new technology. They are invented by a team of students from the Ukraine. Currently, it can only say a few things and it doesn't know sign language per se. One of the phrases it can say is, system really works. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching this week in Discovery News. If you want more of our coverage, make sure that you like us on Facebook, you follow us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter. Links to all of our social media and subscription options are at discoverynews.com. Keep commenting and tweeting. I read them all. And have a great week. We'll see you next week in Discovery News. say we, it's not really we, it's my dad. Friggin. Ha <laughs> you don't like my pot? Oh, sorry, one more time, I went my bad. It's a hover bike, it's way cooler than dolphins. Should do that again. Friggin. Oh crap, I was gonna make a joke and then I ruined it. That still made no sense. Did I look crazy enough? Yeah, you looked crazy. I wanted to look crazy. <laughs>